Hey, welcome back. So what you're seeing there is um, Dine Maps. I talked about that in a previous episode where uh, you can see the the world, my uh, my Minecraft world. It's called um, Woodshed. <clears throat> and you can find out more if you go to uh, LostTreasureHuntGame.com. And uh, if you join the Discord, you can get uh, the link to that uh, Dine Maps. It's really cool. I mean, it's really cool. I don't have it set up right now to kind of scan through it, but you can see where you are. You can see other players in the game in real time. And it's kind of helpful if you if you are um, somewhere, you see yourself, and you want to travel one way or the other, you know, one of the four directions. And you can kind of go forward, uh, scan, look forward on the map to see what's there. Is there anything worth going there for? And if you build stuff, uh, it shows up on the map. It's really cool. Really cool. So anyway, I'm back. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, to uh, join the Discord, to uh, give me a thumbs up, all that stuff. So where we left off last time... Uh, I don't remember, but where we're kind of cool this time, I know what, what we were talking about last time kind of made me think about the uh, castles. Um, and so I have some castles lined up here just to check in on. But the one thing I haven't, or the one place I haven't been for a long time is um, the, where the two towers were. So I'm in creative. I mean, I'm in... Uh, survival i'm in survival mode right now got some daylight left remember this was several episodes ago where i created these two towers actually even before this i, I designed the one tower but then here i dropped both towers side by side it's kind of like a little skyway up there leading from one side to the other and the tracks here these tracks i use to bring um um, villagers over. Oh, I hear one. One somewhere. Hey, there you are. How's it going? How's it been since uh, it's been it's been weeks? It's been months since I've been here. How, how have you been doing? Oh, okay. I must not have my deodorant on today or something. Okay, here. Let me turn the music down a little bit. It's too much in my head. I can't hear myself talk. There we go. Lots of little pigs going there. Good, good, good. Oh, there's another villager. So, what do you got? Oh, you've got some wool. Or you want some wool. You want 18 wools for a emerald. 18 for, for emerald. No, that's too high. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Too high. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get that much because I only got two sheep here. In fact, I think I... I was just in survival mode in the previous episode and I got some some wheat to feed the sheep on that one so let me feed you guys so we can get some more sheep going here I'll check in with you later maybe so anyway I think those those builds are really cool so I just wanted to stop back here and see what was going on not very not very many villagers but this is one of those episodes where I created this uh, village over here using the two towers that I had built. One of these towers, um, obviously I built that for a particular, another village. Another, and so now I've put two side by side to create a new village. And the track, here I use the track to bring villagers over to, to, to build the village. So this is before I, did I start spawning villagers and back during this time I don't think so I might have I take that back I might have but for sure I use the track to bring several of them over from a, a distant a very distant um, village so while I'm here and I don't remember exactly where I'm taking you these are some pretty far far places where is this okay this is oh this is a castle in the last episode i was talking about the castles and that really made me kind of want to see the castles again 
I think I did a pretty good job, you know, for being kind of, for being a very much of an amateur. Let's see. Which castle is this? This might be Castle 5. Let me just take a look where I, where did I go? How do I do that? Um, I want to go to here. I want to see where did I teleport? This is Castle 4. Castle 5 is 1263. Okay, so I'll remember, try to remember that next time when I, after. So let's, let's zip in here real quick. So it's a nice looking castle. Yeah. Got a little uh, garden on the inside, a little tree on the inside. So the, you know, and the, where's the, uh, is the bell? The bell must be outside. Is the bell inside? No, no, there's the bell. Hey, everyone's on a little break. They're talking. So you get a little house back here. And this goes back to, what'd you do? How'd you lock me out? What's back here? Aren't there some sheep or something back here? Oh no, that's just a back door. This one might not have the sheep, unless they're over here. Uh, nope, just more living quarters. Pretty sparse living quarters, I do. I, I will admit, I, I squeeze these guys in pretty tight. <laughs> I don't put a little, I don't put a table or a chair, nothing in there. No pictures on the wall. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so that's this one. Oh, let me go upstairs real quick. Upstairs. Do they call up? Do they call this upstairs in Castle, the ca world of castles? This is up here where you you look for the enemy approaching. And you shoot them with arrows from up here. That's how that works. But, but in this world, I've got jobs here. And I've got a pretty tall house over there. Built inside the castle. This is more like a fort. A modern day fort where you've got walls to protect your little village that's inside. Oh, it's getting dark. Getting dark. I should... Let me zip over to the other place. 12. Let's see. Boom. There's another castle here. Should I cheat and make it daylight so at least we can see what's going on? No, I won't. Anybody in here? They must be sleeping. Yeah, look at that. Hey guys, uh, I won't disturb you. You're dreaming. Maybe you're having a nightmare. I got trees inside this one as well. And then the upstairs as we call it in castle terminology. Oh, it's too bad it's not daylight. Maybe, oh, you know what? If I hit a bed, let me find a bed and I'll make this my spawn point there and that'll change it to daylight. Oh, there we go. There's one bed free. Boom. Bring out the sun. Bring out the sun. There it is. All right, let's take a look at what this what this castle looks like. I think I did a pretty good job on these castles. Like, gee whiz, guys. Come on. Give me a break. Give me a break. Oh. Oh, a little chicken there. Do I have any? I don't. Sorry, I don't have any seeds for you. But yeah, I think I did a pretty darn good job making these castles. Oh, look at that sky. Beautiful sky. It kind of looks similar to the other one on the front here, but not really. The other one had just a narrow door, but it did have all this kind of broken out like that. Um, creepers. Oh, no. No, no. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. How far do I have to get away from you to get you to stay away? And look at that, he blew up and nothing got destroyed. They do destroy it once in a while. I know when we play the grandkids, um, playing Minecraft, uh, what's the other version of Minecraft? I can't think of it right now. 
but everything blows up. When the creeper blows up, you lose everything. You you spend an hour building, you lose it all. Drives me crazy. But uh, and this one, my, my plugins protect me from that. I love that. You know, not that the not that the creeper shouldn't blow stuff up. I'm just saying it's a lot of work when it blows it up. There's some sheep in here. You know what? I could shear some sheep, couldn't I? Boom, boom. There you go. Where'd it go now? Can I get to it this way? Oh, I can't get to it this way. I think I get to it this way. Yeah. Somebody left the door open. I don't like that idea. You gotta keep that door closed, buddy. You don't want your sheep just wandering around. Okay. Pigs? Nope, I don't need anything from there. Although I might go out in the world here and get some more food. I only have three steaks left. See, got a guy working here. Yep. Must be a fisherman. Let's see. What do you have? If you're, Yep, you are a fisherman. Uh, I don't have any emeralds. Oh, I do have some coals. I could get an emerald for a coal. I could trade an emerald for some fish. All right, maybe next time. Let's go out into the world here and see if there's some, uh, oh, there's a cow. I could use a cow. Moo. Moo. There you go. Gotcha. Do I have inventory for that? Good. Uh, and I know in the last episode, I kept running out of inventory space. All right. Let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, I did set a spawn point, did I not? Yes. And I almost said in case I get lost, but this, it's guaranteed that I will get lost. There we go. Another hamburger there. Oh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, a little pig. There you go. There we go. Did I get that? Uh, yes, I did. Oh, some lava. Stay away from that. Stay away from the lava. Yep. Let's see. Where am I in relation to the... Can I get up there? Sure. Hey, you. How's it going? Oh, you know what? No, I won't do that. I won't tease you because I'm going to kill you. I should have given those pigs at the uh, f castle. I was going to say fort. Some carrots. I forgot. Look at that. See? Look at that. That's, that's a round one. That's a round castle there. I think the other one was round too. Got a little bit. Maybe it was, maybe it was a little more square. All right, do I have enough to eat? I think I do for a little while here. I've been eating carrots. I'm on a special diet. And you, do you think you could survive just on eating carrots all alone? Just, just carrots all by themselves? Probably for a little while. Why is the big guy on the outside? Hmm. All right, so. Hey, how's the garden going, fellas? Good job. Oh, those are beets. Yep. Good for you. And you're fishing out here? Too bad they don't show you with a fishing rod or a net or something actually doing it, you know? Hmm. Yeah. I think I did a good job here. 
I know you're I know what you're saying you're saying stop stop patting yourself on the back it's just a minecraft build dude and it's not that great it's pretty great though it's pretty great it's not that great but it's pretty great Looks like they're cooperating down there somehow. Oh, there's a turtle. Cool. Alright, where else was they gonna go? Let's see. Oh, a tree house. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a tree. I don't want to go there right now. I don't want to go there. In the last episode, I was at the bridge fun story about the bridge you'll have to watch that episode um oh i didn't get to the uh, mountain castle last time let's go there this is just kind of like showing you some stuff that you might not have seen but also if you have seen it i'm just kind of doing a check-in with the villagers to see what's going on this is the the mountain hideout I called it where we we, we put in well it's really kind of hard to see unless I go to creative mode and fly up there but you can go to the previous episode and see that let's I'll just let's see I did have a way to walk up there right wasn't there a way to walk up here? A little gnat flying in my face. There we go. See? There are several of these hideouts tucked into the mountainside. Pretty sparse again, but I know. I just. Everything's kind of unfinished. The stuff I build, I do build fairly simple stuff. Well, okay. I honestly, they're very, it's very simple stuff. So I build very, oh, very simple. But then I don't necessarily go back and pretty it up. But you know what? You're welcome to play the game. Um, during this video, as you can see the coordinates, you're welcome to, if you stumble across this or if you actually go to it on purpose, you know, if you want to put uh, some a chest in here, put some pictures on the wall. I got plenty of builds with a castle, same thing. You want to go and, and add stuff to it. This um, server is a Minecraft in survival mode with claiming. I haven't claimed any of these areas that I show in the videos. Um, the only place that I've claimed is the uh, that little s square area where you spawn into the game for the first time. And then actually, I take that back, I did claim uh, a place where I built an office <laughs> Grandpa Tony's office and I, I don't even know where to find it anymore unless it's uh, maybe it's in the it's on the website yeah I think it's it's the address is the link to that <laughs> and so I did claim that area but anyway point uh, my point is if you uh, come into the game and you see these places these builds you can you're welcome to uh, you know to spice them up a little bit if you want to and you can claim it uh, since I built it doesn't mean that you can't claim it if it's not claimed I do have a stick here yeah let's grab a stick if I tap the ground it says no one has claimed this block no one has claimed this block see so you see something that I've built that you like you like one of those castles you can claim it and no one else can make a change to it. It's yours. Of course, the, the longer you play, the more claiming, the more claiming um, um, area you can you can have. You'll you'll get I think you get like a hundred square blocks, maybe. Or is it twenty? I don't know. You get some number when you first come into the game. But the longer you play, you know, hours, days, weeks, that kind of that kind of length of time, 
you get more and so you can claim more pretty cool right that's what you're saying pretty cool it is pretty cool so you want to go to um, losttreasurehuntgame.com and get some information on the game you don't have to play the game if you don't want to but i think it's a fun game where you uh, use coordinates to uh, draw an x marks the spot uh, location on a grid map and then the the, the game is journey is making the journey to the uh you know, my phone fell asleep i want to keep track of something so oops password i want to keep track of something so i need to keep my phone on but the journey is is the game uh, using the coordinates to make the X marks the spot on a grid paper that's easy that's that's just nothing to it once you do it actually once you do it once or twice you'll see you really don't need to draw the X you'll just be able to use math to figure it out um, but uh, actually it might be just easier just to do the do the X marks the spot though and, and then so that's easy that's there's nothing complicated about that but going to the um, your journey to the location of the treasure might take a little while. And once you get there, the treasure's buried. And so you'll dig through um, who knows how much uh, you have to mine for it. And it's, but some of them is, is in plain sight. So there you go. And once again, as I mentioned at the start of this, if you see something like the, the, the tower, those really tall towers, um, or even the um, the builds, uh, I've talked about this before previously, um, and I'm not going to go there now. I don't have a, I don't have the coordinates um, at hand right now. Where, where are we here? I can hear a monster, so I want to go hide myself so I don't get killed. Let's just go someplace different. But, oh, yeah, there you go. Almost, almost got me, didn't you? What's over here? This is back of the castle. So yeah, let's just tuck ourselves away. You guys. Well, oh, do something else. There we go. There, I'll just hide in here. Should be safe. Um. Uh, there's some builds. There's some custom builds here that I hired some guys last year to build a Japanese township, an Italian piazza, medieval village, uh, Mountain View Castle, Jungle Temple. So lots, of, a lot of those builds throughout the world. Not just those five. There's multiples of, of a lot of those. All but one. It's only one Jungle Temple. And uh, I, I should find that, find the coordinates to that, and take you there. I put a lot of treasure underneath that one. But the other, the other custom builds, the unique, I call them unique builds. Um, for the most part, there's no treasure. There's one other one. I can't remember which one it is, but there's one other one that I did put treasure underneath. But um, there's uh, three, let's see, there's, yeah, there's three Japanese townships throughout the world. There's three medieval, medieval villages. There's three Mountain View castles and four Italian piazzas and one Jango temple. And uh, you can claim it. It's all yours. No one can take anything away from it. No one can change the build. Because those are not claimed. Is it daytime yet? Oh, close the door. Don't let the pigs out. Nope, still nighttime. Wow. You know, just recently, just in the past couple of times I've played the game, I see the villagers just like up against the wall or up against, in this case, he's up against the door. I think he was up against the door before in a different, in a different uh, build. What's he doing? What are you doing, dude? I don't get it. Huh. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just wondering what you're doing. Why don't you go anywhere? Go inside. I don't know, what am I not getting? What am I not understanding, folks? If you're watching this and you can tell me why they're doing that. I don't get it. They were doing that before, though. Because there's no bed in here. This is this is the work area where you come in and work with your uh, your animals. Is there not another bed? Maybe is is that what you're telling me? Is that? Let me see. Let me see if there's a bed available for you. I'll bet you. I know there is. There's lots of beds in this. There's like, look at that. There's one there. Sorry guys, I think I had to step on you to get up. <laughs> There's one there. There's two beds available. I don't know why he's uh, stuck. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Just go find a bed, dude. Okay. Alright, so this episode was pretty much about just catching up on what's going on there was something that I did want to do though let's see yeah grab Tony he makes notes oh let's go back to the bridge the bridge is fun you can claim the bridge too if you want just come in to uh, go to uh, lost treasure hunt game.com and I didn't put a minus in there. And play the game. The game uh, is... Treasure is fun. But it's it's going to... And this, these two. What's going on here? Instead of opening the door... Hmm. Let me see. Alrighty. Took a short break there. And where was I? Did I get killed wherever I was? <laughs> Would not surprise me. Oh, good. Back on the bridge. And I came back to the bridge because... Oh, this is the thing here. Why are they trying to get into the house through the through the uh, windows, which is not windows. Should I change that to, uh, to glass? Because they're just going to get killed. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it right now. Sunset. I was just going to go back and do some uh, some mining, but Let's see. No, you know what? This is more important. These guys are... Did they ever go inside or are they still stuck outside? Still stuck outside that guy. How about this one? Really? Why do you think you can go through there? All right, I'm gonna have to go to creative and fix this problem. All right, and so I need some glass. How about just clear? Mm. Frosted? I like frosted. You know what? I never use the gray. Black stained, tinted. Let's go to tinted. That's cool. Uh, let's put it there where the carrots were. Okay. Yep. Let's take care of this right now. It's always something. Always some issue with you guys. You drive me crazy. You know that, don't you? Interesting. You learn something every day. That's what they. That's what the saying goes. That's how the saying goes, right? You do. You learn something every day. Yeah, 
And I go into the beat. <laughs> there you go. Get in there. Make me crazy. You make me crazy. Jeez, he was trying to get out through that way. Well, I, I got to research that. If somebody... And I, I say this all the time. I, I ask my audience, if you know the answer, let me know. But no one ever does. You, you're keeping the answer from me, aren't you? All right, did I close this door? Yes. Is that glass there? It's hard to tell. It's so dark out. It's hard to tell if that's... So now I hope you guys will use the door. Hey, look at that. The um, What do you call those guys with the uh, llamas? Shepherds? Shepherds, are that's what they are. They finally showed up. All right, we're all good. We're all good. <clears throat> the world's the world's a better place now. I should have put some lighting or something across the bridge. Maybe I'll use those stones, the stones that light up. You find those down there in the cave sometime. Hmm, I'll think about that. Put those somewhere. Maybe I could use those instead of these some, these stone bars. Those are bricks, I guess. Are those stone bricks? Some kind of bricks, whatever. It'd be cool if those were all lit up. Hmm. Anyway, so that's that's all I'm going to do right now. I was going to go back down there and mine some more, but I just. I just decided I would, instead of doing that, I would fix this problem so the guys would go in there and get some sleep instead of scratching themselves on the on the side of the buildings. Crazy, crazy. All right, let's go back over here. That's all I'm going to do, do today. Save some for tomorrow. Oh, I got to adjust my background. That's ugly. There we go. I'm good over here. Let me just slide over here and all is well. I fixed that problem. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, go to LostTreasureHuntGame.com. Be sure to give me the thumbs up uh, and give me the subscribe and give me the uh, join my <laughs> Discord. And don't, uh, don't Twitter me because I don't uh, do Twitter anymore. And uh, But you can certainly send me an email, join my Discord so you can post a message and in the discord you can get a link to the um, to the map the dine map it's really cool so yourself you can see yourself and see other people playing and uh, find locations when you touch the map you can get coordinates so you can see where to go if you want to see something really cool very cool if you look back at an episode or two I I give you a little tour of that in a couple of different episodes so take a look all right, thanks for watching. And I'm just going to I'm going to hang out over here so I don't you know smuts up the background there. I'll just stay here. All right. Hey, it was great seeing you. <laughs> we'll see you next time.